today I'm going to talk about lip rejuvenation. But before we talk about how to rejuvenate the lip, I must to explain the process of aging process of the lip. The aging process of the lip is multifactorial. Here we can see vertical ringlets and these ringlets are produced for the medium of contraction of the lip orbicularis muscle and uh, the vertical ringlets are produced for medium of contraction of the lips orbicularis muscle that produce this contraction um, the modern uh, term to call these vertical ringlets are uh, bar codi, codi bars eh? like when you go to the supermarket but also the aging process of the, the lips and the area around the mouth is the is an aging process a product of the, the deshydratation the sun damage and also we can see a loss of tissue this loss of tissue uh, is seen like the loss of volume the cupid art and also the loss of volume of the vertical pillars this is the uh, now I, I talk about three factors of the lips aging process and the four factors is the elongation of the lips that we have when we get older we have a ptosis a facial ptosis also the lips have an ptosis and elongation like the aging process is multifactorial the aging the rejuvenation of the lips is multifactorial also to rejuvenate this area I must to to perform a carbon dioxide laser in order to, to reduce an ablation of the upper layer of the skin and this laser produces also a collagenogenesis and neovascular vascularogenesis. When I use carbon dioxide laser also the patient asks me how long last the the rejuvenation of the face with carbon dioxide laser is have a last longer result and the patient are happy to have this rejuvenation and generally when I rejuvenate the lips also I rejuvenate the full face and tightening the skin with carbon dioxide laser now we have one process of rejuvenation that is carbon dioxide laser. The second is to to diminish the contraction of the the orbicularis muscle. For this reason, I use toxin botulin here. The toxin botulin lasts four and six months, and then we must to to, to do again. Another, when I use carbon dioxide laser to rejuvenate the skin of the, uh, the area, area around the mouth, also I put a lot of uh, enrichment plaquelet. This enriched plaquelet uh, produced with the carbon dioxide laser is a potential rejuvenation, both together. It's, it's, it's improve a lot the result of the of the rejuvenation of this area and also I use filler here like hyaluronic acid to improve here if we see here the pillars uh, have all also gone is flattened and also the cupid uh, arch is almost diminished here we can see how was improved the lips and the area surrounded the mouth. Here we can see an aging skin 
and here we can see a youthful skin. Here we can see vertical wrinkles and here the vertical wrinkles are gone. Here we can see a loss of volume of the mouth, of the lips, and here we can see how I can get volume and beauty to the lips. And also you can see an improvement of the uh, <coughs> nasal labial sulcus and sulcus from here. Here we can see a close view. Here we can see in a third quarter view. And also we can see the improvement of the jawline because at this patient I make also face lift and full face carbon dioxide laser. We can see all the improvement of this area with fillers also here. This is a nice view to show how the lips are, are flat and without form. And it's just flattened and here we see how improve the form of the lip, the shape of the lip. And also uh, this is to see that generally with um, lip rejuvenation, I perform a full face rejuvenation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this presentation.